All right, good afternoon, everybody. I am back with another haul. Um, this is actually a continuation from my first haul that I did um, last weekend. I went about an hour and a half north of here with um, my mom and we did a couple different um, stops at thrift shops and antique shops. So a couple of the items that I got at one of the thrift stores. Um, is this Kleenex box. Um, I believe it's a Linux. Yep. Linux Blue Floral Garden. It is used, but it does still have um, the price tag on it. Um, really pretty. I think this is like a blue hydrangea. I haven't cleaned these items, haven't removed the price tags or anything. Um, got a butterfly, really pretty, no chips or cracks, and I did pay $2 for this one, little bee up here, really cute. So this one I'll probably list, I don't know, maybe about $30. Again, I still have to do research on this. I have to clean it, process it, do all that fun stuff, but maybe 30 on this one. Okay, and then this other Linux piece. This is called the Light of Peace Votive. And I paid three dollars for this one. Again, it's it's used. Came out of the thrift store. Really pretty though. Has um, I don't know if this is like a Thomas Kincaid design, but it has a lighthouse, and then it has um, this wave feature to it, and um, like an opalescent glaze, and then it has this cutout. It uh, kind of looks like waves or upside down waves, um, but really pretty. Light box isn't really doing it any favors here, but um, nice, good size. And again, I paid three dollars for that, so probably somewhere around twenty, twenty-five, based on comps. I'll take a look and see what these are coming in at. It is dirty, but I will clean it up on the inside and get that all cleaned out. And I'll probably put a votive in it and just take a look at it and see what it looks like when it's all lit up. Okay. And this is a little... Chick. I don't know, maybe toothpick holder. It does say Japan on the bottom. And um, it does have the opalescent luster finish. Um, so it's like a chick. And I think this is supposed to be like a door to like a little egg house. <laughs> it's cute. Toothpick holder, a little, I don't know, vase or you can put some little trinkets or something fun in it. Pins, hat pins or something. Really cute. And I didn't see any um, chips or cracks. A little bit of wear, you know, to the paint just due to age, but really cute. And I'll probably list that anywhere between 12 to 15 again got to do research clean it up do all the fun stuff on it it is dusty on the inside but otherwise good condition really cute probably good for easter so out of season but maybe spring and summer decor too farmhouse decor fun okay this is the top. 
<laughs> to a fairy lamp. I looked everywhere for it, could not find it. Um, couldn't find the base for it is what I'm trying to say. And it is much more of a turquoise color. Um, on my phone, it's coming across as a uh, cobalt blue color. Um, I am assuming this is probably a flashed on color, but I don't see any scratches or missing paint, so I'm not sure. Um, I did pay a dollar for this, and there are a few small nicks on the inside. Um, not the bottom. Bottom's good, and I think all the diamond points are really good on this too. Um, but the the top inside has a few little nicks, but you can't really see them. You just um, can feel them. So really good condition, but again, um, just the top of the fairy lamp, not the bottom. Um, so I'll do some research on this and see um, what to list this for. Maybe $15, not sure how much just the top goes for. Okay, then I found this set of vintage game cubes. Um, I did pay $3 for this. It does look like it's just a individual game. I don't think it goes with a separate board game or anything. Um, but I just like them because they have the original holder and they look like they're in pretty good condition. America's newest puzzle, cra puzzle craze. Cute. I don't know. Um, I'll look it up and see what this is all about, but maybe 12 to $15 on this. We'll see. And then this, um, I did get this at, um, mom and I went over to St. Vincent de Paul, um, thrift store and got this dragonware and it is lithopane. I don't know if I can get that. Yeah, kind of, you can see it a little bit. Um, there's an image, lithopane image in the bottom of it. Um, but it is the cup and saucer, matching cup and saucer. Um, it is in decent condition. I don't see any chips or cracks, but, um, there is some paint wear. Um, so I'll note that. Um, but good color. And I think, you know, most of the design, oh, there's a little bit of chipping right there but we'll get all that noted but it's you know the typical black and white and blue a little bit of gold on there and this was not priced and I was actually surprised when I took it up to the register they did um, go ahead and ring me up for it I think she maybe charged me a dollar or two it really wasn't um, that much so uh, but there is a Made in Japan stamp, and then also um, a BP, exclusive BP Japan sticker. I don't think I've ever seen that sticker before. Blue and silver color on the sticker. Yeah. So, really neat. These, um, these sold pretty good for me. I can usually sell these between $20 to $30, just depending on condition. Um, if it has a third plate to it. Um, so this one will probably sell about $20, 20 to $25. 
Okay, then I have a Frank Homer set. And this is heavy. <laughs> it is in the um, blue, blue and brown color. Um, it's the tray with the two, two mugs, coffee cups. Um, I do like this color a lot. Um, I usually find the green and brown, but this is heavy, so I paid a dollar, I think, for each mug. It is marked Francoma, and then I think a dollar, two dollars for the tray, so four for the whole set. Um, I do need to clean it and do some research. Um, there is some discoloration, I think, in this mug. So I'll scrub that and clean that out and see what I can do with it. But these are heavy. I really like the color. I'm kind of thinking about keeping them, but I'll do some research and see what the blue ones sell for. Really heavy duty. Um, feels nice in your hand. Um, kind of a matte, satin matte finish on these. Um, like I said, Francoma doesn't usually sell very well for me, so I usually pass on it, but I like the color on those, so I did go ahead and pick those up. Okay, and then this teacup and saucer. Let me get it out of the bag. Okay, so this teacup and saucer is really pretty. No chips or cracks. It is dirty, so I'll get that cleaned out. It is Grafton Bone China, made in England. Um, I'll have to research the pattern. It's kind of like a light blue with pink and yellow and green and really pretty. Gold trim. And then the matching saucer. I think I probably paid six for this set. Can't remember and I, there's no tags on it anymore so I think that's what this one was. It's probably six. Um, I'll research this brand but it depends um, what these typically sell for. Usually a really pretty decorative teacup and saucer stuff like this I can sell for um, 25 to 38 dollars. Um, but I'm not familiar with Grafton, so I'll take a look at this and see what this goes for. Okay. And then I have this milk glass oregano. <laughs> I'm sure it's Oregon or oregano. Um, spice bottle. It does need to be cleaned and I think, yeah, I paid a dollar for it. It's, it's got the topper. Topper looks like it's in good, good condition too. No chips or cracks and it seals real nice. So oregano spice holder probably goes to a larger set. Um, does have the transfer wear floral on it. And I'm assuming this is probably Italian. <laughs> Um, so maybe um, eight to twelve dollars for this. I'll try to look it up and see how much just a single would go for. But it's not really worth it for me to list it on eBay. I might just keep it or put it in my garage sale coming up. Okay, and then I do have some items that. Um, I already have listed. So the other items um, that I showed were part of the latest haul that I have. And um, then I just wanted to show some of the items that I do have listed already on eBay. So this is a salt and pepper Blue Delft 
Dutch windmill set. Very tiny and little windmills on both of these spin. Really cute. Um, they do have plastic stoppers, so I don't think they're really mm, very old. There's some writing on this. Maybe a name. Yeah, this looks like it's dated 1972. Hank. And then the Delft sign right in here. So, really cute. Um, I do have these on eBay. They're originally $11.99, but I do have a 20% off sale going on right now for, and these are running $9.59. That's Mia in the background. She's my little Jack Russell. <laughs> she can hear something outside, so she's growling. Um, so this little set, um, they don't, they're not a matching set, um, but they are um, older vintage Japan pieces. This is stamped like with ink, I think an original price of 29 cents. Cute. This is a little bunny, you know, and there's wear to this and he has a little chip on his ear, but really cute. And then this guy, his tail is broken, but these ears and his face and that nose. Oh. So I wiped these down, but um, I didn't really want to scrub them and there is obviously paint missing, but I'm not sure if this is cold paint, so I didn't want to ruin it. Um, and I do kind of like the dusty, I call them farm fresh items, <laughs> or um, barn, you know, barn items straight from the barn. Um, Japan marked on this one too. And um, I have the bunny and the mouse set um, listed on eBay already. The set is $17. Um, for the two of them. Um, and that's usually because I can sell them for, you know, eight to twelve dollars separately. So there's a little bit of wiggle room on these if anybody's interested. And this guy, this is a um, chalkware carnival dog, um, carnival prize, and um, he's cute. You know, he's got some wear to him. Um, he's older. Uh, I don't know. It says 75, but I don't know, but maybe it was a year or something that the person got it. Um, he's cute. He doesn't really have a lot of um, major issues. He has a little bit of chipping at the base and then a little bit of paint wear. And this bow was on him when I got him, um, so I'm assuming that's original to the piece. And based on comps and the research that I did, I have him listed for $29.99. But again, I have a little bit of wiggle room on him if, if there's interest in him. And then I have this um, little Asian doll figurine boy, boy figure. He has this hat, really cute little outfit. Um, and his arms do move up and down and his head turns and he's cute. I've had him listed for a while and I really thought that um, somebody would just snatch him up out of the shop, but um, there's really not been any interest. He's not marked anywhere, um, but definitely vintage. Really cute, cute face. Look at that face. And 
he is listed for $12.99 and then I have my 20% off sale um, that he's under. So he's $10.39 right now. So really cute. And the last item is my little Swarovski duck chick. Looks probably more like a duck because of the little beak. Um, he is marked. Um, I do have close-up pictures on eBay um, and I did look it up and it is a valid Swarovski um, logo mark. He's got both of his little eyes, two wings, his little tail. Everything feels like it's in really good condition, and he's really cute. Um, got his little feet, webbed feet. <laughs> um, I do have him listed right now, regular price at $38.99, and this is not under the 20% the off sale. Um, I don't have the original box, but I do have Swarovski um, gift bags that... Um, I can put this in or ship with it um, if anybody's interested in that. All right, well, that's about all that I have for today and I have more items, so I'll be bringing you more haul items soon. All right, thanks everybody.